How is it hotter this week than last week? I, I don't understand Texas right now. Welcome back. If you're new here, hopefully this content helps you uh, start your channel, help your channel gain a little quality here and there. And uh, if it does, please consider subscribing, dropping a comment, leaving a like, all that good stuff. Now today, uh, I want to talk about a little bit about branding. I mean, there's so much more to it and uh, there's a, a lot to do as far as branding yourself. But today, particularly, I'm going to talk about branding your content so nobody steals it, takes credit for it. And in the long run, it just helps you with exposure and uh, getting that credit. So yeah, today I don't even mind the little, I don't have the wireless mic. It actually, like I had said, it, it sometimes gets left behind. I left it in my work vehicle. I switched vehicles to come pick up my kids. So I got some time to kill in the uh, pickup lane, drive through, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I got the, the wired mic set up today. So I can still make it through. I just grabbed this from my desk real quick as I was walking out because the van gets parked on the other side of the house so i don't have the wireless mic today but i got my backup see if you checked out my last video on the mics you, you know what i'm talking about but anyway uh like i said brand branding so when you become a content creator you know one of the first things i mean you can go by your name as well but that gets a little difficult because you want a unique uh you know logo name uh, whatever people can find you by and know you by. Uh, if you use your name, mine's very common. Uh, I could have gone by my name and I've considered it before, but for my business, you know, my business is called Reliable Kitchen Services. So when I branded myself within an HVAC community, I went with the traditional, just add HVAC at the end. So I was Reliable HVACR. That's how I branded it. I did sketch some logos. I'll try and show those right now. I sketched about three different logos. A couple of them I sat on for a while and then I finally decided to be a little more professional. I wanted to get them professionally drawn. So I do have three logos now that I use. Uh, one is my main branding logo and the other two are just uh, for fun to do different things like stickers and patches and uh, you know market yourself. I got uh, koozies here. So reliable, reliable uh, patch uh, sleeves. So I got arm sleeves too. I put it on everything. That's a, that's a whole other topic. But today, uh, an issue I've been having lately is my stuff is getting stolen. Uh, logos, photos, videos. Uh, I'll show those right now. So one was on YouTube. It's some tool channel and this is a problem that i have when i'm showcasing tools is i'm not in front of the camera all the time i want to do a short a reel a TikTok video right those are going to be a few seconds under a minute long and i usually have music and i'm just trying to show the tool either in action or unboxing something very quick and if you don't brand your stuff it gets stolen it happens it's been happening to me a whole bunch right now so uh, if these uh, Instagram uh, profiles random ones they might do something similar or they might uh, just want to take credit for your stuff we have uh, like I said YouTube is uh, the shorts the TikToks. I haven't had an issue on TikTok, but anything that has to do with short form content it's easy for them to steal right it's a short few seconds long and then they can just repost it don't give any credit to anybody so there's different ways to go about that so that you guys get credit for it you get more exposure because if, even if they do repost it they'll see your name they'll see your logo so please my main concern and tip for today is brand your stuff mark your stuff photos videos youtube videos long form videos please uh, watermark your stuff that's the most important thing I've done that since the beginning even though I didn't uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep doing this I wasn't sure how well it would be received we came to a point where I have been luckily successful enough to be out there and be noticed but in turn you know there's people that just like it companies that 
that like it and reach out to you. But then on the other side, there's people like, oh, I can uh, take that and claim it for myself and maybe I'll get the exposure that that person's getting. I'll explain it and then kind of show it on screen the way I do it because I do it in my editor. So for uh, photos, you're gonna go and use a, I use an app, I used to, I use Photo Room and I use PixArt. PixArt is the easiest one to use because it does not charge you for the features that I use the most, which is just like adding text, doing cutouts, and making these watermarked photos. You upload whatever photo it is you want to, to uh, share. The only thing is you have to remember to do this every time you take a cool photo and you just wanna upload it right away. Uh, you have to remember to go to PixArt and run it through this first so that you have that copy with your watermark. So you're gonna go into uh, PixArt, you're gonna open your photo that you wanna upload. You've already edited it. Uh, I use the iPhone editor to do most of this, just the, the photo uh, app, you know, the built-in one. And you do that and then you go at the bottom, you scroll over and you, pl you pick add a photo. Now, if you've had these professionally done, or maybe you haven't, you've done it on your own. Um, if it's a PNG, it'll have the cutout of the logo, which is even better. So you're gonna add that photo over the top. You're gonna size it the way you want to. And then at the bottom, you're gonna go to the, the opacity. I mean, I don't know if that's the way you say it or not, but that's how transparent or translucent you want that photo you put on top of the uh, one you're gonna share, how uh, transparent you want it to be. You're gonna minimize it to under half, or I think half is okay, but under half, just so it's uh, visible enough to where people recognize it. And hopefully your logo has your name pretty big on it or whatever uh, is super distinct about your brand. So make sure when you do a logo, I'll talk about it in another video if you want, uh, how to be distinct, uh, unique, and then make sure your name stands out. So you're gonna put that over your photo, try to hide it, not not off to the side because they could crop out. Always keep that in mind that they might just crop out your name. Uh, you can do it that way. I always try to hide it because I do tools and things like that in the tool or in the shadow of a tool where it's close, but it's not covering the tool because then you kind of ruin the photo. And sometimes like I've been working with companies, they don't like uh, your logo right over the photo taking uh, or right over the tool taking away from their product. So. Try to hide it, you'll get better at it. I usually put it in a dark shadow or something off to the side where it still is on the product, but it's not to where they can crop it out. So that's the most important thing. Uh, the old school way of doing it, and I used to do it for another business that I had, for the same reasons I used to get stuff stolen because uh, I used to do laptop repairs, phone repairs, stuff like that. And I would post my, my photos of my work to get more business, right, to advertise. And some people would take them and say that they did that work when I'm like, that's mine. So the old school way is to, to write your name across the whole picture several times. That way, any way they crop it, your name comes out. Uh, that's the old school way to do it. That's the easier way to do it. But if you have a logo, it's a little more professional. Uh, make it transparent and make it hidden, but you can see it and you can't crop it out. So that's just how I do it for all of my photos, whether anything because you never know what they what they can steal so that's just my tips on uh, the photos now the same concept can be applied to your videos so I've used Vlogstar to edit all my content whether it's vertical videos for social media like Instagram TikTok, uh, even YouTube shorts or if it's uh, full YouTube videos that I post on my channel now you can do it a few different ways uh, but either way, you just want your name on the video. And I've had a, I've had a lot of people that, that snapshot or post a story that they're watching my uh, content on a TV, right? And I greatly appreciate everybody who tunes in and, and supports and, and shows that they watch and, uh, you know, cares about the channel. But they'll have it on the screen. Now, I'm not in front of the, the screen like this or a camera all the time. I'm usually explaining something while I point and shoot. So, you know, as they're po posting it out, they're like, oh, look who I'm watching. And they'll zoom in on my little watermark because it has my name in it. So in the editor, you can go, and there is a, a watermark feature. So it's th this editor makes everything so 
is simple. So if you haven't checked out that video, that's my uh, in my top three editing editing apps that I use for all my content. If you use the watermark feature, you go into your content and you set up a watermark, you click on a watermark, it's gonna have a whole bunch of options, which is really cool. You can uh, set up your name and you can set up a logo with it. And it's cool because it does a little, uh, they'll be playing as a preview when you're trying to pick one. And they have animations that, you know, as it comes in and as it goes out, uh, they have these cool little animations and you, you just fill it in. You just click on the uh, little pencil and then you type in, if it gives you a text field, type in your name, your, your brand name, channel name, whatever it is. And then on the logo, you can do whatever you want with the logo. You can put your own logo, but uh, depending on what kind of logo you have, it might be a little too small. You can resize it as, as much as you want, but I try to have it roll minimal in the bottom corner of the uh, video. So what you're gonna do or what you can do is, you know, use your logo or uh, I don't know if you, I don't, I think you have to upload your own photo for those. So you have, what I did before was I went on Google and just you uh, Googled a image of Instagram, uh, their logo. I took the Instagram logo, right? It's just a little square, purple, orange. And then I used that in the editor and I uploaded that as the logo because it's asking for a logo you just it's a little Instagram logo and a reliable HVACR on a lot of my old videos so that way as they're seeing it they could see that right so my content can't be for the most part can't be uh, stolen as as the way it's shown because my name will be there but also they're like hey I recognize that logo he has an Instagram let me go follow him on Instagram right uh, so now I have another one. It's a little four, uh, four icon pack that I use and it's for Twitter. It has the logo of Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. So that little thing pops up and then it says reliable HVACR. So they're like, oh, I, I, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook, whatever it is. I'll search for him there because I show the little icons in my name. So that's how I watermarked. Uh, mine and the cool thing with with that watermark feature in that app is that you set it up once Well, it's a good and bad thing, right? You set it up once and you never have to do it again It'll automatically add it to any new projects you start so like uh, You set it up in one video and then you're done with it or you You don't have to finish it, but you have it set up once you open up another project it's gonna automatically add it and It just automatically adds it for the entirety of the video so that's really cool it's automatic i used that for the longest time and it was just like you know it's always there no matter what content it's always there you might have to just resize it or move it out of the way if, it, if you're doing a different like a vertical video but it was always there uh, i didn't have to worry about it too much uh, now i choose to do a uh, my own overlay which you can do if you make your own overlay you know you can make the same deal I put my name in the corner with the icons and I made it all green so you would just do a cutout of what the size is like the landscape um, content and then you would just make it all green except for that little piece I made mine in Canva because I have a desktop uh, that I do that stuff on so you can use the chroma key feature so I add it as a photo it's a, a picture in picture so it's an overlay photo that covers the whole video I hit chroma key and key out the green and it uh, makes it transparent except for the logo that's in the middle I mean on the corner so that's how I uh, watermark my stuff now and I can do with that with that and you you can do anything crazy I keep it simple and I keep it in the corner but you can do like you've seen people that have the overlays over the top and they might have you know I use the same handle for everything so it doesn't really I don't really see the need to do that I just have the little icons and then one handle uh, some people have different handles so they'll have like a different like overlays on the top across the screen you can do that you can get creative with it do it something like that where it's like uh, a frame around or on the bottom on the top on the side whatever you want and you just make it all green uh, in the middle 
that way you can go back and chroma key it out uh, that's the easiest way to do that uh, and you can make overlays like that right so that's another way to do it and then what I started doing since I do that I have to add it manually every time it's not automatic I don't do I don't use the automatic watermark in the app anymore but uh, now when I do my and I've always done this I just I did it I do it more now than I used to uh, on my vertical videos what I do now uh, for shorts reels and TikToks is I add my logo as a watermark and I just make it translucent like we did with the photo like I explained with the photo so you get your logo hopefully it's a PNG and uh, or it doesn't have to be right you go on the bottom and you can do one of two things you can add a photo as a picture in picture which is an overlay like I said or you do cutout if you go to cutout you just uh, circle around your your logo it might be a little bit hard because like on mine I have it to to be transparent but it's like at the edges so it's kind of hard to get around the edges but you circle it around and then you hit cut out smart cut and then you pick if it's a logo you pick object you can also cut out people so if you have a person to cut out of a shot you can do a person cut out with that feature too and that's how I do my thumbnails for certain things if I want to cut out somebody of a photo myself or anybody else I use that same feature I just click on person instead so I can get out remove the background so essentially you're removing the background on your logo so you cut it out if it's not a PNG fo uh, file already so you can do it that way if you want a, a nice little cutout of your logo and then you can go in there and uh, touch it up if you need to erase something that it didn't cut out or hit restore restore something like the eyes or whatever it might have taken out as well and then uh you know finish all that and then you can use that as an overlay also it's a cutout and it goes over the the video and i use this for short form content and then uh, from there you just pick the op opacity again uh, make sure you see how transparent you want it and then you can do animations you can animate it in and out uh, like I just do basic ones like fading in and out and if you want to get creative because what I used to do is I used to do a glitch animation throughout the whole thing that way it's just there and it has like motion to it so it doesn't look like just my logo plastered on right it has a little uh, effect to it throughout the whole video it's only going to be like a 30 second 60 second video anyway so you can get creative with it and that's another way to uh watermark your stuff right so please watermark brand your stuff um another tip is in instagram a lot of my stuff gets stolen on instagram and it's to pages that like sell stuff and they're trying to use either my logo or some of the the stuff that i posted uh to get more people to like or follow them or whatever it may be in your descriptions use your whatever your brand name is like mine is reliable hvacr for that channel use yourself or your name as a hashtag and tag yourself in it so like an in instagram i would put at reliable hvacr hidden with the hashtags and also hashtag reliable hvacr hidden in there too so because all they're doing is copy and pasting it or using an app that does that for them and it's going to take everything in there and what they like to do is I think those apps do tag you in the first uh, line and they go in there and they either delete it or they add like a like a dot or something like a period that way it doesn't tag you but if you hit it further down in those posts they can't they won't see that they most likely won't be going through the whole thing so that's another way to do stuff because I get a lot of stuff stolen on there too and you can just tag yourself hashtag yourself so you can kind of find that easier uh just you know just watch your back because my stuff gets stolen on youtube on uh, and on instagram man and what's happening to me right now is my logos are getting stolen by people that i guess uh say that they do logos or, or draw stuff or, or whatever and uh that's a little bit harder because they're taking credit for the artist that I hired to do those uh, logos and stuff. So I'm trying to fight that right now, but uh, for the most part, they they do take them down, or I report them, or somebody that follows me reports them because I'm at about you know eight nine thousand on all platforms, 
uh, as far as like followers and stuff. So th they'll look out for me. People will look out for me and they'll see, they'll say, Hey, I see your logo over here. Is this, did that person, uh, do that for you? Or, Hey, they're stealing this, they're stealing that. So I appreciate the guys that look out for me. Uh, it's just, you know, a constant battle with content creation, trying to make sure you get credit for the stuff that you do, right? Cause content creation is, it's unique to you. It's, it's your style. It's, it's what you like. It's what you do. And it sucks when that stuff gets stolen. So I uh, hope this video was helpful. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. And uh, please, if you guys are new, if you guys have been in the game for a while, watermark your stuff, brand yourself well. Think of this as a business, you know, your own little company, your own little brand. Like I said, I've, I've always thought of it like that. I put my, my logo and brand on everything. It could be a hobby or it could be something big later down the line. I've had the pleasure of working with so many companies just because they like the style, the way I do my content and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, there is money in it. There is benefits of it. If you keep at it, master your, your craft in this uh, content creator world, I think there's enough for everybody to do. And you're only, you know, unique to yourself. And what you can bring is gonna be different than the next person. So. It's not too saturated or anything like that. There are plenty of people out there. Just make sure you make yourself unique, you stand out, and you're just yourself. That's the most important part because when I started, I was very scared, nervous, but as I went on, I got more comfortable. And once I started showing more of myself, my personality, that's when it took off. So I think I'm out of time here, guys. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys.